far cry from years past for Spartans head coach Mark D'Antonio. After going 36-5 and five with a Rose Bowl win and a berth in the Final Four playoff three years before, had to talk about bouncing back from that 3-9 and nine season, their first losing season in seven years, and an offseason of turmoil featuring the dismissal of three players charged with sexual assault. Our Jack Dole sat down one-on-one -on -one with D'Antonio in Chicago to talk about what's ahead for the Spartans. In previous years, you've gone in there, you've talked about culture and, you know, all the wins, and this year was about change. What was the biggest change we're going to see? Well, I think first, first and foremost that uh, we've got to reestablish ourselves inch by inch. If you look at the football aspect of the game and why you win and why you lose, the turnover margin, you've got to protect the quarterback, you've got to pressure their quarterback, got to win up front, all those type of things, and I think that's what our fans will see. You know, we're a young football team, so we need to reestablish ourselves. There's, there's new faces, new names, new faces, but uh, does not mean that there's not talent that's there, and uh, we look for good things, and we'll look one inch at a time. Can this team be back in the hunt for a Big Ten championship just like that? When you look at the history of, our, of what, what's gone on the past 10 years, uh, really, how many games have we just ultimately been blown out? Not many. Mm -hmm. So... You know, I'm not going to sit here and, and project championships. What I'm going to project is that, that we're coming together as people. They're going to reestablish ourselves on the field, off the field, and in the classroom. They're going to do things right. And all those things create a winning environment for us to move forward. How difficult was last year for you personally as a coach? Tough. Tough. You know, first of all, you had to go through the season. And, uh, you know, your job as a your job as a head football coach or your job as a CEO is to is to make sure everybody is um, able to move forward, that the attitude is right. Mm -hmm. And I think that we did a, a, a good job of that in terms of we never lost our football team, and that's a credit to our senior group and to our football team in general, that we always competed and we had opportunities to win, and we were ahead in every game and you know never started the same lineup in, in one game. So, you know, injuries or whatever the case, you know, whatever you want to say, create those dynamics but challenging I guess the end, end result of the question challenging but uh, that's why you do what you do you know and, and it's, at certain points in time uh, you grow as a person and I always look for opportunities to grow and that was a, that was an area <laughs> so. have you have you felt more pressure this offseason to make sure this program's you know back culturally and and victory wise in where it's been yeah, I think you always feel pressure, um, especially when you're coming off a tough season. But last year, I felt pressure to to retain what we had and to repeat. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's always a challenge socially. Social issues are always a challenge. Uh, we've been fortunate, and uh, we've got good young people, and I want to make sure that we understand that uh, one incident doesn't paint the entire program. We have good young people here that are doing great things for people across this state. And I uh, want that to be recognized. So we'll, we'll just keep doing what we do. But, uh, yeah, I was hired to fix problems. So, you know, at some point in time, you got to fix them. I mean, it's easy to wear the Rose Bowl hat. Everybody loves you at that point in time. But at some point in time, you know, you need to dig down and get your hands dirty again. That's what we'll do. You, you like to talk about inches. Do you have to fix them an inch at a time, too? Yeah, I do. I think that every inch counts, every step. Every inch that you, you know, every tech, every football play is made up of a bunch of techniques. And every one of those techniques steps, starts with a six inch power step. And if you overstride, you got a problem. So I think that's, that can largely be said for life too. So, you know, you go back to the fundamental values that you hold dear and you uh, enforce those and, and uh, lay them out and, uh, and get busy. How important is it for this team to get off to a fast start just to make sure that, you know, that what, oh, yeah. what happened last year doesn't continue? Well, we got off to a fast start last year, so sure. so that's not always how it is. It's how you finish. We've been very, very good football team in November, in November so we want to continue that, that mantra. But, uh, you know, our first game against BG, we need to be, we'll be ready to play. We have young players. We have an enthusiastic, enthusiastic attitude. We'll be ready to play. And Spartan Nation will be ready, too. Do you use last year as a learning tool, or do you just flush last year now? No, we use every moment that we've experienced as a learning tool here, whether it's good, bad, easy, or rough. 
we're going to use it as an experience because I think every aspect, that, every, every single experience that we have shapes us. And we need to be shaped in the right way moving forward. I mean, we need to come out of this um, grown men, our young people. And so we've all, we've all evolved. We've got 160 probably people that have gone through, whether, when you talk about coaches, staff, and players, that have gone through this past season, both the, both the season and both the off season. And there needs to be some positive results as a result of that. So we need to learn from the, these things and, and grow. And that's, that's my message.